the JBI spec, KYB, SSS forks have been updated. We have been writing them at our usual JBI motocross spec, the spec that we sell to customers and get very positive feedback on. I've ridden on these forks uh, three times now, uh, once at Glen Helen, once at Parish Raceway, and once at a private track down in South County, San Diego. The forks work pretty damn well. I'd say they're pretty comparative and equal in performance to our JBI spec WP Exact 6500 Pro forks. But I will say these WP Exact 6500 forks seem to have a slight edge over our KYB setup. Now, I'm not saying that as in they are a better overall fork or trying to really say which fork is better. Um, really, the main point of this is to compare them back to back, do comparison testing, learn from that, and make each setup better. What really stood out on these forks was that they seemed to absorb the small ripple chatter. So think of those small consecutive bumps that you find often going into corners and coming out of corners. Um, I call them washboard bumps, which is small ripple, consecutive repeating chatter bumps. Uh, these forks seem to absorb those just noticeably better than our KYB spec forks. Uh, by no means were these bad, but that's the area that really stood out on the KYBs was in that specific spot. Um, most of this stood out at Glen Helen and at Glen Helen on the REM track. Uh, that dirt, or at least the prep, is quite different than the Glen Helen National or main track. Um, on the main track, I thought these forks worked really well. But again, that dirt is usually a lot deeper. The bumps are a lot bigger. So the impact on the suspension is a lot more. Whereas the REM track is a lot smaller bumps, more hard packed dirt, and a lot of those ripple style bumps. So, learning from that, today at Ride JBI, we took apart our JBI spec, KY, KYB SSS forks, and we made a few changes to the valving. Uh, we made some changes to the compression valving on the base valve. That is the valving that interacts with our compression clicker up here. And that valving is located in about this region of the fork. And we also made a few modifications to our mid valve inside of the fork as well. The main focus on these was to improve that small ripple chop comfort for this fork while, my, while maintaining the bottoming and holdup that the forks currently have. So if, the, if this setup works out how I hope it is, then wow, these forks will have gone from working really well to even better. And again, that is the entire idea of this. It's not to favor one fork over the other, it is to learn from each fork type and setup find the pros and cons, the strengths and weaknesses of each fork, and then see how we can make up for that in each fork and just overall improve all of our JBI suspension settings. Um, tomorrow, we're gonna take this bike out to Fox Raceway, AKA Pala, and do some testing out there. We'll be ready.